Sorry for the technical difficulties! I'm sorry! Oh, I'm sorry! Congrats on being first, Queso. Hello, hello! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I was doing a bunch of stuff to my OBS and I messed everything up! Messed everything up! But... We're here. While. I have to open this. This might be loud. I'm opening Chibi Robo. But hello, how's everybody doing? It's it's been a second for some people. Um. Ah. um. Hello, Eburinyan. How are you? Fine, thank you. <laughs> All right, this is gonna make noise. I'm gonna mute it as soon as I can. Let's see if I can mute it in OBS for you guys. There we go. Okay, um, I'm, I'm awful. Hang on, I have to plug in my controller. I wish I were a bird. <laughs> My room is a big heckin' mess. Big heckin' mess. Okay. There we go. Drawing because I started drawing because I didn't want to use a lot of my phone, even though I do one drawing for anime. I mean, drawing's fun. Drawing's good. I feel like my face is all off kilter. Let me fix that. Which now you guys don't have to see. I don't have to break, break the fourth wall anymore. Yeah, now looking left is negative 60 for some reason. Ah! Chibi Robo, you're screaming. There we go. How does this sound? Does this sound stupid? I feel like that's okay. I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit, maybe. Just cause Tip Chibi Robo didn't have a lot of music last time, so I want to fix that. That said, I'm big, I'm little. Shrink, fun butt. You're not stuck on my tail, are you? No. Game? Hello? Game? Hello? Why is everything exploding today? I am so sorry, guys. I know. Everything's exploding. Cap 
capture window. This one. Okay. You want, do you want to give me Chibiroba now? There we go. And there we go. That's a game. <laughs> How's the sound? How are things? I think the game's a little loud. For everyone, I think, honestly. There we go. Hello, Alex! Welcome in! Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, that's the sounds. Well, yeah, but any for anyone who missed it on my Twitter, my commissions are officially open. For the first time ever, and I've gotten a couple applications and some DMs, and that's exciting. I'm excited about that. But work has not been good. <laughs> so, you know, good good and bad. Good and bad. It sounds like bloop, 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 bloop. Gotcha. Oh, now we got music. Chippy Robo didn't want to play music for us last time. I'm going to rearrange my windows here so I can see everything I need to see. Not Discord. Squeesh my chat. Oh, I have to tweet that I'm live. I'm so bad. I'm a bad streamer. I'm a bad streamer. Um, my capture. Oh, work. My favorite streamer. Thanks. Okay, we delete the one more hour. And we will retweet the original. Live now. Twitch.tv slash raisepark. And then I just go into Tumblr and I hit the, the good old fashioned reblog. Oh, there's ship art on my Tumblr. Hello, Tumblr. Tweeting links will cost $15 a month. Yeah, probably. Lives in the same state as me, state of anxiety. True. Very true. That was me today. Heavy anxiety. Also, Dell, would you care to test throwing things at me for me? You can use your command. I don't mind. Not the guy. Hmm, interesting. Why did that not work? Does, does actually throwing things at me work? Nope. You're running. Why you do nothing? Why are you not connected to anything? Don't look anybody. Don't look everybody. I'm breaking the fourth wall. Why is it down there? Why is it up there? There. there. No throw. We are finally safe. Nope. No longer safe. Here you go, Del. Ah! <laughs> Hits have been removed. They've been restored. Top surgery in reverse. Okay. We're gonna do little robot chores. I had a bad day at work and I just wanna do little robot chores instead of having pressure to keep Pokemon alive. One butt, one butt's freaking out. Top surgery, two. I think that would just be like, HRT. <laughs> They were good. How is the end of March treating you all? 
Because it sure is the end of March. Sure is. Oh, but there's stairs on this couch. I experienced girlish whimsy. I did the game where you're rolling a ball of junk. You mean Katamari? I love Katamari. Ooh, can I get over there? Also, what's this? It's another ladder? It turned around. But yeah, I love Katamari. When the, um... When the remake of the second Katamari comes out, we'll definitely be playing it. I'll make it over there. No! Foiled. Katamari streaming new Katamari comes out? Absolutely. Absolutely. I may have already beaten the game, depending on what day of the week it comes out, but absolutely we'll be playing it. As soon as possible. Pog! <laughs> Pog! I've moved my mic so that hopefully I'm a little bit better sounding. Hello, Drake Redcrest. Can I impress you with my my cool skills? Hello. 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 Hi. If one wants to patrol, one must pose. Mark it and never forget it. Okay. I don't want to pose right now, though. I'll die. See if I pose. I don't remember how to pose. Is this pose? I lose all my battery. It's not have, <laughs> have to charge. <laughs> yeah, kidding. This is what kidding looks like, right? Also, I definitely don't ken Chibi Robo, even though we both have the same giant blood tail. <laughs> definitely not an inspiration. <laughs> Yeah, I've gotten a few people interested in commissions, which is nice. It's always happy to see that. I was really worried. I'm not, like, I'm not pricing them super high, and I'm only gonna take a couple, so it's gonna be hard to choose, because I see people in uh, interested, I'm like, hee hee! People want, to, people want me to do work for them! They like my work! Yay! <laughs> um, that's the living room. I wanted to go into the kitchen at night, because I don't know if I've gone into the kitchen at night. I also actually have snacks today. I have goldfish. Um. Quiet crunches for y'all. Thank you. I'm fine. But you know, it's always easy to like doubt yourself. Goldfish! The snack that smiles back. <laughs> He's trusting that it's the the house is wired correctly. The snack that smiles back. Eh. The other thing I forgot. What do you mean? What did you forgot? Oh, I'm in- I forgot I'm in his costume! <laughs> Drake? Oh my, you're here to see me? Little old me? Wait a second. You're much smaller than Drake. Is that you, Chibi Robo? Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't startle me like that! Oh, you're gonna get snacks after work? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. What happens if I talk to you normal? Oh. Just thinking about during being near Drake makes me nervous. That's why there's no way I can confess. After all, I'm just a woman who gets used as a dog's toy. As a dog's plaything, I'm nothing. I'm sorry. You forgot the frosty flakes also? Were you gonna get cereal? Ooh, there's little ladders here. I'm noticing all these things I didn't quite notice the first time I was in the kitchen. Get these little ladders. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything up here, though. 
Maybe I can get on this little... Oh, nope. Get up here. Oh, I can climb this. Where does this go? Where am I? Uh-oh. Prepare yourselves, everyone! Maybe not? I was prepared for robots. Evil robots. Where's all this oil come from? Y'all gotta fix your... exhaust fan if it's leaking this much. Ah! I can't keep up! Walk to the grocery store tomorrow and make broccoli ground beef cheesy noodles. That sounds amazing. Oh, I'm dying. Back down we go. Down I go. I probably could have gotten up there, but that's okay. I need to go plug in. Yeah, we're doing a super, super chill stream today. Just hanging out. Being buds. I'm just chatting about life. While I'm a little robot doing little robot chores. My mom used to make before she realized she hates cooking. We vibing, yeah, we're vibing. Mm-hmm. This goldfish is slightly stale. I forgot I had it in my pantry. And I had one of the big boxes, so I've been trying to eat through it now. Mm. Eh. Give me this How do I get up there? Gotta be a way to get up there. But how? I'm so little! There's a spoon up there! I need that spoon. But how do I get up there? I need scrap so I can build things. But how do I get scrap? And there aren't any bad guys to shoot. How do I get on the table? I also might switch from the 15 minute clock to the 10 minute clock because I feel like I'm running out of things to do. Our first clue! Loose ka do we can do! One thing that's been really heartwarming about my commissions post going around on Twitter is that um, I've been getting a lot of people who've never seen my work before and being like, wow, your stuff's so cool, and I'm like, thank you! Um, but then also simultaneously, Twitter's about to die, so it's like unfortunate to be gaining like followers on Twitter, <laughs> of all places. Um. Cause it just feels like, man, Twitter, Twitter's about to start charging people for literally existing. Um, TikTok's maybe about to be banned, probably about to be banned. And those are like, I don't know how to alert people to my streams. I don't know where to post from there. Twitter and TikTok are two of my better platforms. What do I do? The world sucks. <gasps> Oh no! Don't cry! Mm. 
Dears? On the battlefield? Hmm. He's crying. Nope, wrong. I forgot how my emotions work on VTuber models. How do I get up there? I can try through here. Yeah, but like, I don't know, nobody follows me on Tumblr. <laughs> I I can exist on Tumblr, but nobody follows me there. I I don't know what to do with that. I link to it on my socials though because it does exist. Okay, I gotta get up to. Gotta get up to her. I'm coming! Oh! There we go. Kettle. Kettle bit. Jenny, what are you doing up? Go back to your room and go to sleep. I forgot how my emotions work. Me one hour shy of my normal amount. Same. I wonder if the death of Twitter will lead to a resurgence of many people who have personal blog or dedicated URL. The horror, I know. I, I mean, it might. I have a dedicated URL. I can use it as a blog if I wanted to. I am a web developer. I make websites as a living. But I feel like getting traction that way is so much harder. And discoverability is bad. Chill them, she being them robots. Hello, welcome in, Raz. Rip, rip, uh oh. Night, ribbit. Chibi Robo. What are you doing? Aha! Uh -huh. I see you're trying to reach the second floor. Yes. But these stairs are a problem, aren't they? Yes. There's nothing here that can be used as a ladder. Well, there are ways. But you'll need some special equipment. I'll look into it for you. Thank you! Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, well, I got in the thing for that now, so that's good. Ominous silence. Private Frisco on duty, sir! We can't train when the family is around. I gotta go into the chippy house and buy the... 10 minute timer. Because the 15 minutes feeling too long. Let's go! Yeah, my, my definition of this week is everything has happened. <laughs> and last week I survived going outside. I'm going outside again tomorrow. To a lesser extent. I'm gonna go do karaoke with some friends. And I'm hoping that that goes well, because I've actually never done karaoke before. <laughs> but I like to sing. It is the paper avatar. Yeah. It felt good for Chibi Robo. Oh. Yes. I would like that. Oh, I can't buy the car yet. But I can buy this the range chip. I'd rather buy the battery. Um. Yeah, we're just vibing today. With some chippy robo. Just vibing with some chippy robo and eating some snacks. Chippy robo, you you feel kind of loud. I'm gonna turn it down just a hair. Better. Oh. Let's go! You're eating cheese. its I'm eating goldfish! It feels like twinsies. I know it's not twinsies, but it feels like twinsies. It feels like twinsies. Feels close enough. 
I'm just hanging out. Work's been tough for me this week and last week. So I need to just like a, a chill, relaxing stream time. So anyone who's hanging out, I greatly appreciate you. Even if you're just lurking, you're appreciated. And I hope you're doing well and taking care of yourself. Because remember that you can't keep going on an empty battery. You gotta recharge. We're close enough to be twinsies. They're like at least siblings. <laughs> I'm under your- you're under your blankie? Nice. I'm also under a blankie. Ooh. I also did... Maybe nefarious things to my 3DS over the weekend. Um... And also got Style Savvy. And so I'm gonna probably play that after stream because I've never played Style Savvy and it sounded fun. Because I watched a video essay about girl games. And the like essay writer was like, here, for anyone that, you know, grew up as a girl playing games, let me let me take a guess at some of your like standout games. And then like pegged me to a T. And like, I, at first I was like, okay, he got some. And then he's like, and if you're in a JRPGs, then you probably played Shimigami Tensei Persona, the Persona series, Ace Attorney, Professor Layton. I was like, ugh. <laughs> it's like, and oh, also, if you played Ace Attorney, your favorite character was Miles Edgeworth. And I was like, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I got style savvy trendsetters and also set up my, my 3DS so that I could record off of it wirelessly. Um, which is cool. I don't know if it'll be good for streams, but I'm excited to like play games with my friends over Discord with it. Yeah, I don't know if it'd be good for streams. <laughs> we'll see. They got me down pat, yeah. Called out. <laughs> I do love me a, a angry lawyer man. Ah! Ow. Hi. Third plug? Yeah, there's a plug. Okay, good. I took a nasty fall. Yeah, one of the games that they talked about was Style Savvy, and they were basically like the idea of the, the video essay was just that, um, you know, why there aren't good quality girl games because people just assume that girls aren't interested. Which is not true. And they, they focus so much on making a game girly as opposed to making it good <laughs> that no one plays it. So people just assume that girls aren't interested in games, even though they are, because no one makes good games. <laughs> and that's why when a good game does exist, like, all of the girls who play games played it. Which is, which is interesting. Who could resist those angry lawyer boys? I will stream Ace Attorney at some point. I promise. Because it is, like, the definition of one of my go-to games. And the funny thing about it is that when I first discovered AA, um, I was in high school, and um, I just was, like, on the Wii Shop and found it, and I was like, oh, I don't know what this is. I'll try it. And then I played it, and I absolutely loved it. But, then, like, no one I knew played it, so, like, I didn't have that... ...like, person to talk about the game with. Ah! I got the rope on the ground. <laughs> um... What are you doing, Chibi? It's a dangerous game you be playing, yar! What be this? Um, um, um. I, I see you searching for Giga Robo's Giga Charger. Chibi me lad, you slippery fish to get a handle on. Gar! No! It's right there. It's fine. Today's almost over. Um. Yeah, I played some of the Barbie games that were very low quality, but I also had a few that are still like... Like, they still have a soft spot in my heart, you know? They still make me happy. 
and are nostalgic. One of them in particular, um, I think I talked about a few streams ago, because I got like a, um, a VM to play like old computer games, and one of them was like the Barbie Detective series, which I feel like should not be surprising for anyone that knows me, because I'm very into, um, was very into like puzzle solving games and detective games and stuff like that. So the Barbie Detective series was very pot, like, very good for me. <gasps> Super Robo. Fantasy Aquarium, cute. Um, but uh, tele television is is going off. Handing out free advice. <laughs> um, but like you would put in your name and then you would, Barbie would like say your name. There was like a pre-recorded list of names. So they didn't have every name, but they had like a lot of names. And so they were like, they had like Rachel, which is my name. Um, and so you'd be going through and it would be like, Rachel, we have to find where Ken went and <laughs> stuff like that. It was really funny. They did not age well, but it's like funny looking back at it. But big games for me, I played a lot of Zoo Tycoon growing up. I also played a lot of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh oh. The bad guys are here. Hida. The horse is here. <laughs> there was like three Barbie detective games. There was like Barbie and the Carnival Caper where Ken goes missing with a bunch of charity money. And there was one on a vacation resort. I played those two. I didn't play the, there might've been a third one. I also played Barbie Pet Rescue, which I liked. <laughs> uh oh. And was committing fraud and skipped town, we know that. <laughs> one thing that I think was cool about the Barbie Detective games is one of the characters was voiced by the same person that played Phil and Lil in Rugrats. And she was in a wheelchair, and she was like your tech whiz, and I was, and I think that that's cool looking back. It's like she, she was super helpful, and even though she was, you know, n different, differently bodied than Barbie, I appreciated it. I appreciate it now. <gasps> hmm. Everything looks normal. No, I'm imagining it written like expanded dialogue. Rachel, <laughs> we've got. It's kind of how it sounds. Because it's always the same pre-recorded thing. And so it's like, Rachel, we've got to save Ken. <laughs> Rachel, will you help me? So it is very much written out like spammed in dialogue. <laughs> like not physically, but in my heart it is. We got the oil on the ground. It's time. It's time to become a robot murderer. Rachel Ken murdered Spamton. No! <laughs> huh? Hey, wait a second. What's that? Oil? Is that oil? Why is there oil here? Let's do a little investigating. Gotta get my gun! New kitchen gun! Sparkles like new! Mm. Yep, that's oil, all right. I wonder where it came from, huh? Wait a second, what's that thing over there? Yeah! It's time to fight the aliens. Because there's aliens. The spiders are here! Uh oh! I know this move! It's. it's. They're surra I'm surrounded. I'm surrounded. Spider rule it! I don't recall this. Oh, we're in a world of trouble! Be careful, Jimmy Robo! Rachel, it's time to be a big shot. All I need is your one time offer of $9.99. Heart sheets object. So we can get hyperlink blocked. <laughs> ah! Hey, is that what I think it is? 
It's crap. Should we rebuff? Collect enough of that, and you can build a utility bot with the Recyclotron. Now I can build letters! Feels rude that I don't get 500 unless I missed a scrap. I leave all this oil everywhere. I did miss a scrap. Good. 490! That's even ruder. Yeah, that's all the scrap. Left. I should see what I can build with that because if I can build the ladder in the li in the other room, I get up the stairs. I get access to all of the upstairs rooms, which would be awesome. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. I really hope TikTok doesn't get banned. I like TikTok. I didn't used to, but now my brain worms. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> They'll turn, but it's a bar. <laughs> True. <laughs> Where your utility bots come from? They're your backup buddies, your support bots. If you have scrap, you can make some utility bots with the chippy PC. Think there's any scrap in this place? I have some. Build room is a Barbie. <laughs> I can make the living room ladder! Gimme. It's not the one I need, but gimme. Um. Spit it out. <laughs> um, nom 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 nom. Eh, eh, eh. I was trying to mess with the cap. I got an idea. It's like TikTok. We call it? Fine. <laughs> Honestly, I'd be down. It's just so annoying that like TikTok and Twitter are two of my bigger following locations. I just hit 800 followers on Twitter. And I'm over 8K on TikTok. But now in the US, both of them are gonna be sketchy. Hi, Jenny! <laughs> are you ready? Yes. Now then, everyone, let's go! <laughs> I will now unveil the utility box! Yay! Hooray! Look at him. Just a little guy. Yeah. YouTube, Tumblr, and Instagram, probably. I don't like Instagram, though. I could probably start posting content on there. My face is on there. <laughs> I'd have to make like a new Instagram account or wipe my old posts or something. Cause I used to use Instagram for cosplay. Like I don't mind people knowing my face, I guess, but I don't know, I'm shy. I YouTube because I like, I like having a little guy and I don't like um, analyzing my own looks all the time. Cause I am too self-confident for that. Yeah, I also don't get it. My brother likes it, but I, I don't understand Instagram. <gasps> a song! I'm ready to be amazed. Sing! I'm listening. This one is called... Ter teriyaki Blues. Ah! No! <laughs> Telly, no! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oof. No, 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 no! I appear to have been interrupted by 
by a malfunction of some kind. Oh, I was like, Sacha! Look at me. Hello. The telly. Oh no! Bye! I wanted Jenny to hear the whole song. Oh no, the coolant is leaking. Oh, this is so disappointing. Thanks anyway. You were a great audience. You mean it's trash. Alright. So where can I get to with this ladder? I feel like there's gotta be somewhere cool. Eh. Let's try here first. If you wanna know- I- I know how to use it. I'm good. I already do know how to use it, yes. Thank you. Monk. Oh, we're gonna get to that chip. Chippy door. Oh, I'm dying. Ah! Thank you so much for the follow, Yumi Yumi! I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for so throwing some love my way. I'm Ray, my pronouns are she, they! <laughs> ah! I hit my controller on the table. I got too excited. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome in, welcome in. We're playing some Chibi Robo and just kind of vibing and hanging out and talking about how social media is imploding. <laughs> More like she yay! More like she yippee! <laughs> yippee yay! Yippee kai! My pronouns are yippee and kai yay! <laughs> Hello! Hello, Nami Pew! I saw that you submitted a an application! Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you! I really appreciate it. The applications I received so far are so cute! So cute! I appreciate you greatly! All right, time for everyone's favorite part. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you, and hello. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Nice to see you. No, not eyeball hell. <laughs> Yeah, I don't stream super often because I have a full-time 9 to 5 that takes up most of my time on Porch Snap. Not picking that up. Yeah. I've played this game before, but I own an amiibo of this character. It's so cute. I love Chibi Robo. Part of the inspiration for my design was, was Chibi Robo, so I, I, I've had it now as like my, my go-to cozy game for when I don't want to stream anything more involved because <laughs> work was hard because work is hard sometimes or I just want to relax at the end of the week <gasps> money okay where else can I get to oh I can get onto the hang on come here come here pull 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 I'm gonna have to plug it in a second it's cool that I know where it's from now Oh, he can't get on the- he can't get on the rug? Can't get on the rug! That's unfortunate. I wanna get up here. <laughs> yeah, he's- he's originally from this game. This is his original appearance. The amiibo is for a game that no one likes. Um, but that was his fourth game. This is his first game. And then there was a game, um, on the DS that I liked that was like, he- you build a little garden? Um, with Chibi Robo? I don't remember exactly what it's called, but I remember, um, there was lots of toys that you could talk to and- OW! <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did a python fall on my head? What was that? <laughs> the world said not today! <laughs> Yeah, there was a little gardening game. Um, they're mostly cozy games. I know also in Japan there was a photo game 
where it was like an AR game and you took photos of things. Um, and then there was Ziplash, which is what the amiibo is for, um, which was a 3D platformer that people didn't like. <laughs> I must have spelled my own emotes wrong. Oops. <laughs> I will fix that. I wanted to update it with some of the new emotes. <gasps> Which reminds me, I my emote finally got approved. Bongo. Bongo is approved now. That's so typical. It, it gets it for a game that people don't like. Yeah. It was mostly that just like, it was so detached from what Chibi Robo was and what people like Chibi Robo for, because it's it's that, you know, Mongo. It's that kind of casual, you know, relaxing game experience. But then they made a 3D platformer <laughs> with it. Thank you. I made it a few weeks ago, but it took a while for for Twitch to approve it. As it goes. Because I haven't streamed enough. And it's not like I haven't streamed for like over a year, <laughs> but I have to have streamed like a consecutive 60 days and I took like breaks. Not like 60 days, but a consecutive stream, 60 streams um, over a period of time and I haven't done that. You were more about it. Yeah, I like it a lot. There's also on BTTV, there's a Ray Spark Slappin, which was the other expression that I had people vote between. There's two expressions. And people voted for the the little happy one. Um, but the other one is slapping on BTTV. It still exists. But it's just not the one, like, directly on Twitch. But both are free! Any of my emotes that um, you see that you like um, are all on BTTV with the same names, just instead of Ray Spa, it's Ray Spark. So if you ever want to use my emotes, BTTV. <laughs> They're all available. I may eventually have to stop doing that, but I'll see. But I also want to come up with another idea for another good animated emote. Animated emotes are hard. Because I want to get an emote that's like perfect for actually like being animated and not just like, I don't know. It's the same as like a normal emote, but it's, it's animated. It's moving. But there is an emote that I use a lot on, on Discord that's like, I think it's like, no! And it's just like someone going like, ah! And then if, like it vibrates. I might do that. <laughs> it's not a very exciting emote, but I like it. I would use it a lot. Um, sometimes there's evil robots in here. Ah! Speaking of... Evil robots! No! No, get away! 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 Die! Ray Spark Spin? I, I started working on a Ray Spark Spin for Bunbot, and I've considered it. I, I did the sketch for it. The sketch exists. Maybe an emote where Bunbot is doing an evil robot walk? I don't know what that means. Um, I think what's already tricky because they're so like, <sighs> Emotes in general are hard, but I think my favorite emotes right now are my newest emotes being Race, Race Ba Bongo and Race Ba Shy. Because uh, I use that one a lot. <laughs> That's just how I feel as a person. I was like, uh, -huh. uh hi. <laughs> Hello. So I'll be in like, um, can I call them my friends? Streamers who I've like become mutuals with and talk to sometimes. Um, I'll be in their chats and they're like, check out Ray! And I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. Maybe you're just Bunpot doing the robot, that'd be funny. That'd be funny. I usually give him really, really noodly arms when I put him in emote situations. I'm just like, hi, <laughs> I'm just a little guy. <laughs> Ooh, I can push you over here. Look at these. Get up here. Can I rotate you? <clears throat> Ooh, everyone 
everyone's favorite, a Robo door. You're just cool. I don't know. I'm just a little guy. Uh, very cute and nice. You can clearly see the hands thanks to Mortal Lines. Yeah, it took me a couple of um of tries to get that to look good. <laughs> it, it used to be like more colored, um, but I changed the outline of the hands in front so that they would pop more. I didn't think about that. Um, money! Money! Yay! Money! Okay, we gotta get out of here. We're dying. Get down! Um... Get to the- get to the- get to the outlet! Nope. Put that away. Get this. Plug in. There we go. Um... Yeah, I use that one. I use that one a lot because I use I use a corresponding emote on Discord a lot. I use like a shy, and I use it all the time. I'm just always like, hey, I'll like message my friends and I'll be like, do you want to play games? Maybe, maybe. Would you want to play games with me, please? Um, so that's what I use that one for. So I was like, I need that on dis on, on Twitch because I'll be like in other people's chats. And I'll be like, hi, I hope you're doing well, shy. <laughs> um, because it's just how I feel. And I feel awkward when like people are being nice to me because I'm like, ah, ah, compliments, no! I don't know what to do about those. Um, so I like, I like that one. Um, I feel like I always feel super awkward too. It, it's like, it's hard because I don't want to come across as like, self-promoting. I just want to be like, hello friend, person who I look up to, but some for some reason considers me cool. I don't know what to do with that. Ow! I fell down. Um, cause I just I don't know. There's there's some really cool people who I look up to who've decided that I'm worthy of being cool to, and I'm like, ah! I've also started playing um, VR chat some off stream. Um, I I haven't like met anybody, but I know some people. I have wanted to play VR chat with me. Ooh, I don't know what I'm there. <laughs> like, not like people in chat, but like a couple of neutrals. I'm like, that's cool. Um, I would love to have like a model, like a custom VR chat model, but I'm on Oculus and that's hard. And also, I don't know how to go about commissioning that. <laughs> but I would love to do that at some point. How do I get, how do I get in here? Oh, I see. I see how I get in here now. <laughs> Push this over. I gotta... No! Oh! No! I was right there! You guys are welcoming um, some confident chat. Well, uh, well, thank you. I, I try to be welcoming and, and, and comfy. But also never feel pressure to chat. Don't so fair to let people know if you'd prefer just hanging. And not shoutouts. I know some similar, similar people. I like- I don't know, I like I appreciate them. And usually they happen like the second I say hi. So sometimes I just lurk. And I'll just like do the lurk command. Um... That usually works. <laughs> I'm a Quest 2 noob myself. Was well, first time getting into VR. Been a lot of fun so far. Yeah, I have a Quest 2. Um. Um. Attention streamer, you are a cool raised park heart. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You're cool, Alex. Also, I love streamer. And streamer with like multiple E's. Ever done VR chat, but I do have the quest too and want to do more stuff. Yeah, I've been. I, I haven't done it much because I get really, again, like socially awkward and socially shy. But I went into like a Pictionary game and played Pictionary for like a little bit, <laughs> so that was fun. Um, that was enjoyable for me. I just sit here like, yippee! I know you. <laughs> oh, my face! My face decided I was pogging. Oh, I'm pogging again! <laughs> Hang on, V Bridgers. V Bridgers freaking out a little bit. Oh yeah, Vbridger has literally crashed. Vbridger has crashed. Yeah, close the program. Close the program. Um, um, Vbridger? Bad. Okay. 
We don't have my V-Bridger stuff, so my face is gonna look slightly funky. I have to restart V-Bridger to fix it. Oh, by the way, it, this, it, the sale is over, but did anybody get anything cool um, from the spring sale on Steam? I'm curious. I've only been brave enough to go into VR chat twice so far, but it's really fun. But it's better to go with a friend, yeah. I just don't know. <laughs> Again, we get back around to like the shy thing and I'm like, I only have like a couple people I know who like use VR chat. And so I get nervous. I'm like, hmm. hello. <laughs> um, but I, I should stop being so scared because I've had people tell me to DM them and friend them on VR chats, <laughs> but I just, I also am still getting used to VR, um, but I, I, I'm right now I'm using a penny model from Pokemon, but I would love to get like a, a 3D model for this character. I was gonna get Power Wash Simulator Knife for Gore, lol. I think I bought it. I didn't get anything from the eShop before it closed, which I regret, TBH. That's fair. I bought a couple of things and then I did nefarious things to my 3DS. Mostly because um, I wanted to screen share my 3DS wirelessly because that's a thing you can do when you mess with your 3DS in ways that you're not supposed to. If you catch my drift. Um, which it was pretty easy. It, it like took a bunch of back and forth with Compooper. Um, Jimmy's such an innocent yet anxiety inducing phrase, yeah. Like, literally, I was gonna message someone who's my mutual. It's like, I'm gonna message them for the first time this weekend. And then they're like, they're like, I'm canceling stream because of pet stuff. And I'm like, I'm not messaging them now. I had no idea you could do that. But yeah, with the right things, I'm sure you can. It's actually not too difficult. Um, if you want to look it up, <laughs> um, 3DS hacks. Look up 3DS hacks. Um,. And you will find a treasure trove of information. You just need a micro SD card. I'll say that much. Um, and it's really easy. Um, and then from there, you can look up H Shop. It's a little bit spooky if you're not great with computers. It's not hard. And there are tutorials out there, but it, it can be a little bit spooky. I know a lot about computers, and it was still spooky. Um, but like, it's not difficult. Um, but then from there, there's like an entire, there's an entire, there's a thing called H Shop that'll still let you download games of an arbitrary, uh, <laughs> legality, perhaps, but, um, the e shop's closed and physical games are now just resold, so like, you know, no legal way to purchase them. Shrugs. Shrug emoji. What you doing, sir? What you looking at? Silence, fool! He did a little spin. An ill wind blows tonight. Has something happened to Mr. and Mrs. Sanderson? Drake Redcrest also heard Jenny weep large, bitter tears. Curse you, Samus. I will continue to patrol upstairs. I should do a Zoo Tycoon stream? I don't know if my computer could handle that. I could. That'll be fun. I don't know if my computer could handle it. Um. Yeah, I set up um, my 3DS in dubious ways and uh, installed a thing that lets me screen record off it wirelessly without having Dear to. Dear Nintendo, we would never circumvent your intended uses for the handheld gaming devices we bought from you. Never. Never ever. Even when you make it very difficult to use them in the intended ways. <laughs> um. Uh. But yeah, um. There was a program I heard of called uh, Boot NTR that when you've done nefarious things <laughs> to your 3DS, um, can be used to screen record it without, like, a capture card. Which, if you aren't familiar with content creation, a capture card is basically just like a thing. Ah! Evil! Evil and I'm dying! Run, Chibi Robo! Run! No, 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 leave me alone. Um. 
but it's a capture a capture card basically where it lets you record stuff off of a console. Um, like anytime I'm streaming for my Switch, I'm using a Elgato capture card. And then um and then the 3DS capture card has to be like installed into a 3DS. Um which makes them really difficult to you know, screen record. Um but because of silly things, you can get it to work wirelessly with specifically 3DS games when you mess with your 3DS. <laughs> um Die. 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 Chibi Robo is not kind of his fellow robot. <laughs> um. And, um. I want to use it to, like, to, yeah, like, screen share stuff with, with friendos and Discord. Um, but I, I use my, my Switch capture card, like, all the time. It's, it's just nice. I really like being able to screen share the games I'm playing with my friends. Because I grew up in a house with siblings where, like, all of my game, like, all of my gaming was being shared with someone else. And so, like, you know, streaming helps me recreate some of that. But there's some games that it's just, like, it's hard to share them with someone without, race like... Race but gun. <laughs> race but gun. Honestly, I considered doing a race but knife. Where Bunbot's just holding a knife. <laughs> I thought that'd be funny. I know a lot of people have knife emoji or emotes, and I think they're really funny. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of my my time playing games growing up was like, <laughs> um, was with like my brothers, and so like if we were playing single player games, usually one of us was playing and the others were watching, or my dad was watching, or something like that, and so. I miss a lot of that, and so it's nice to like share a Switch game with friends. That would be cool. I can make both. Oh, that's cool. I love that, Alex. Ooh, I almost dropped off a ledge. I made it upstairs. Or upstairs. Hi, Jenny. You doing okay? You you good? You you good? You all right? You okay? Up. Oh. I, I again forget how I've been using too many PNG tubers for D D recently. <laughs> I keep forgetting how stuff works. Hi Johnny, I got a <gasps> Hello TB. You came all the way up here because you heard Jenny crying, right? Jenny says thank you. Aww. Traumatized child, yeah. It's mood. <laughs> Spread the happiness. Jenny says she's upset because mom and dad aren't getting along. Mom wouldn't let dad sleep in their bedroom. I want to go into mom's room, but I can't move since I'm a stuffed animal. Oh, I have a I have a frog ring for you. Riba, oh. Okay, I'll give it to you tomorrow. <gasps> Guys, car. <laughs> we gotta ride the car in a second. Divorce level. Honestly. Bink. 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 Lots of money. Car. Yeah, hang on. Can I use the car? <laughs> All right, let's charge first. I think there's a charge point right here. Yeah. Bonk. Um. But yeah, I grew up, like, playing games with my siblings and stuff, and so, like, even a single-player game was, like, a multiplayer experience, you know? And so I'm not used to playing games just, like, all by myself for the most part, and I really want to, like... There's, like, lots of games on the 3DS that I'm like, man, I want to play this with my friend, but I can't! And so now, like, having my weird situation with my not capture card capture card... What does this do? Can I... Can I drive the car? <laughs> I can push it. Nope. Yeah, spectator sports, basically. I mean, obviously I'm kind of doing that now. With streaming, but... Um, it's nice just to be able to like, sit with friends. I, I like to play... Like, the Ace Training games, and games with like, lots of characters. No car for me. Um, and like, do silly voices and stuff. It's fun. I like it. 
But also on the topic of not do of not doing nefarious things, this is definitely a real GameCube, okay? This is definitely a real one. Which, fun fact, I can't show you because this isn't actually a camera. But I have I have Chibi Robo over on the shelf, over there, and that's definitely what I'm using because my GameCube is definitely not broken, and there's no way to easily fix it because Nintendo decided to have a bunch of proprietary stuff in there. We've made it into her room, and there's a bunch of garbage under her bed, so I'm gonna pick it up. Green crayon. This doesn't look ominous. This doesn't look ominous. <laughs> Red crayon. I'm just gonna pick up trash, you know. Doing my job. Yeah, capture cards are cool. But like a 3DS capture card, you have to like have physically installed into your 3DS and it's like hundreds of dollars and you have to ship off your 3DS for someone to install it or buy a 3DS with it already installed. That's a big headache. <laughs> Um, it's the only way to capture, like, the only good way to capture, like, DS games, because the thing I'm doing won't work for anything that isn't natively on the 3DS. But it's something. And it'll be good for Discord. It'll be good for Discord. The sound situation was weird, though, because unlike my Switch capture card, the sound does not come with it. I have to use the headphone jack and do some silly things, but... Worth. Trying to not awaken what's ever in this box. Sometimes I wish my job was just to go around, pick up things, and put them in my head. <laughs> Alright, what's in this box? What's that? Why you got a monster in your chest? Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't I scare you? Did we? Did he scare us, chat? He seems like he wants to have scared us. Just like ah. Oh! That's the wrong one. Ye? He scared us? Okay. Yeah, you scared me. Oh, you're being nice. Oh no! I was frightened. Yes. <laughs> she just got a hammer space in their head. Aww. It's okay, you can scare me! Leave me alone. Uh, Chibi Robo is the original autism creature. It's true. It's true. Yippee! That reminds me, I need to do something this weekend. Oh, April Fools is this weekend, isn't it? I forgot. I was gonna do something silly on April Fools. We'll see. We'll see if I can get it done. I'm busy. Busy. I might be able to get it done. Oh, I can't pick up these flowers. These flowers are not trash. That's so much trash in here, though. So many little bits of trash. Oh, I can get up here. <laughs> I hiccuped. <laughs> Hop. Hop. What kind of handles are these? <laughs> they make a perfect little stairway for this little guy, though. <laughs> She's just like me for real. Same. Can I pick up this crayon? No. Cannot pick up the crayon. I also think at some point I can like when I get that spoon that we saw, um, I can plant flowers. Which will be cool. Cookie crumbs and a cookie box. Me too. Om nom. Gotta get this candy wrapper. 
Ooh, I can I can't shoot that far. I don't have the range chip yet. I chose not to buy that so I could have a better battery. Okay. Get up here. Get this candy wrapper. And we'll hop down. We'll have to also talk to Drake, because he's in here. Oh, the red crayon! I missed it! Dang it. Ah! Welcome in, rebellious sh uh, rebellious shard. You're a bot, so I take back what I said. Get lost. Goodbye. Also, the room is so cute. Yeah. Oh, what am I looking at? That towering castle. I think my power just flickered. That's scary. <gasps> All the way to the top. What do I see? <laughs> a delightful damsel. She gazes down at me with lost eyes. I can tell her heart aches for justice. Listen! Please have code part four! Love justice with a burning passion! Big Red Cross must speak to her. She needs my attention. However, a minor obstacle stands in my way. How am I supposed to get up there? Ha! One called Mort will know what to do. Yelling at a bot while playing Chibi Robo is a Robo Bunny is so funny. <laughs> Look, just like Chibi Robo, I'm only nice to some robots. <laughs> Other robots? No mercy. None. None at all. Oh, I think I can use this phone. Robo phone? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Selective, selective, um, robo support. Alright, I think we got the next battery upgrade, too. Mm. Yeah! Yeah! What is she robo about? It's about being a little guy. I'm a little guy. Let's try telephone. You might be able to talk to someone, though. Nope, not gun. <laughs> new kitchen gun! Sparkles like new! Hold on, you're making me a meme? I'm afraid. Yeah, it's just, it's just about being a little guy. You're just a little robot, and you make people happy. But that's really all there is to it. You make people happy. And you clean. Doing little chippy chores. I climb the ladder. Climb the ladder. There we go. Oh, you misheard? No, I said about being a little guy. <laughs> I don't know what you misheard, but I'm afraid. Can you go down the slide? Very slowly going down the slide. <laughs> well, being selective about it means you aren't being prejudiced. It's time for a break. Hmm. Big stretch. Ah. Sent in Discord. All right, I'll see what you, what you've done to me. Oh no! <laughs> is the is Chibi Robo the reason you have a plug as a tail? Mm hmm. It is indeed. I don't know how many of you will get this joke. Like, at all. <laughs> but for those of you that play Dong and Rampa, uh, you get to enjoy. <laughs> you get to enjoy this silly, this silly meme my friend made. Have to open it up. I'm just gonna name this meme. Browse. Downloads. Make it bigger. Oh, it's gonna get all crunchy. Beautiful. Bonk. I also like that you can't read the bottom text. It's just robophobe bottom text, but because it's all in black text, you cannot see it. <laughs> it just looks like bot. <laughs> 
which is almost like peak, peak, robophobe bot. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though. I'm a robot and I'm a robophobe. <laughs> it's wonderful. My chibi ranking has gone from 210 to 90! We're in the top 100, boys! Robophobic bot. <laughs> Thanks, I made it in this paint. Citrus off to send me a special gift, a brand new bonus battery. Would you look at that? Battery power has gone up to 160, yay! Mm -hmm. I get the next bonus battery, I need 423 more happy points. I'll need advice, become the super chibi robo. Cross small gaps, use a chibi, thanks. Yep. I do know that. I do know that. Yep, that was in the tutorial. I would like to save that. Give me. Give me all this trash you made. I can also make another another staircase or another ladder in the kitchen. I'm making so much progress. New kitchen gun. Sparkle's life new. It's been my latest echo. Oh, yeah. I think there's an amiibo chipper. There is. Yeah, I tried to buy it a few years ago. And then it just, like, never got sent and it got returned to the sender. But I didn't get my money back. I might try again because I, I really do want it. I do want it. <laughs> But guys, 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 guys. Aw, I can't afford it yet. I thought I could. Nope. I also think I'm gonna buy the 15 minute timer because now that we can actually do stuff, I wanna. <laughs> mm, let's buy the range chip. Four. Four. No. There's four and recycling parts. Money and recycling parts are different. Perfect. Cycle into Gadgetpon? Seems kind of productive. Powered up. I've upgraded. Let's go! Stop making trash in my house! We've been over this! Oh, you didn't even actually make trash, you just made confetti, so I can't even clean it up! <laughs> he just gets recycled into a new little guy. These little guys. Alright, I have to give her the frog ring. We have a frog ring. She likes frog rings. She's drawing me uh, taking a nap with her! So cute! So cute! Aww. Mm -hmm. Yes! Yay, Ibit! <laughs> Stop making confetti, Edward, to come true, true. Oh, give me money. Mm -hmm. Here you go. A little aggressive towards the confetti there. It's not like it's glitter. But it's trash! My job is to clean up the trash! It's my job! Oh, hi, Scotty. Welcome in. Money. Seven more? I thought there were only five. It's been. Understandable. There's dirt on the wall. Can I shoot it with my gun? No? How do I get rid of this? This doesn't work, does it? Nope, I think I need the water thingy. Did you ever just propose to them? No, they like frogs. So I collect the frog rings that they hid. They're like little plastic frog rings. 
With the kitchen gun? Yeah. Sparkles like new. So much dirt! I just cleaned up this mess. Can we keep it clean for like five minutes? I was curious, this is about as far as I've gotten in Chibiro. Like, I usually just get to this point and then just like clean. Because it starts like actually making the house messy. <laughs> it spreads more dirt. Trying the two of them in the same blood implies they want to marry Chibi. No! She just wants, like, I'm like a pet slash toy. She just wants me to, like, you know, go sleep there. Like you would, like, a teddy bear. That's all. She's like six or seven. Hello, Spooky. Welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Oh no! Twitch is bad with those. Very bad. Hmm. I want to go to the kitchen. I just got the, the ladder in there. That's not the way to the kitchen. Give me this. Un. Oh no, wait. I want to go in the basement. Ah! I will hydrate. I have to fight this guy. No! Get back! There's another guy. Where is he? I can hear him. There he is. Get here. Get over here. Sorry, I had to engage in self-defense. And then in recharge time. And then I will stretch and hydrate. They're a small child. They physically can't keep a room clean. But that was the living room, and those were like adult footprints. <laughs> stretch! Oh, I popped my back. That was good. Thank you. Now I'm good. Just fighting of the robots on site, rude. No, it's different. They're like alien robots or something. <laughs> I'm robophobic. As a robot, I am robophobic. Yeah, I'm a robophobe. Exactly. Those robots were after our trash, exactly. I love the sounds he makes when he walks. Xenophobic, if it's aliens. Not again! Get out! Get away! Get away! Get away! I gotta clean up the oil you left behind in my- Ah, there's more of you! There's more of you! No, get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get away! Nope, get away! I have to clean up all the garbage. All the oil you left behind, jerks. Cleaning my nice house. Look at all this dirt. Probably the robots. I'm gonna can you're gonna cancel me on Twitter? Twitter's gonna cancel itself. Try and just try. <laughs> Cause Twitter's canceling itself as we speak. So what will canceling me on Twitter do? Nothing. How can I be a robophobic robot? They're like, you know. They're. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> it's just I'm not one of the bad robots, you understand. <laughs> I'm a good robot, but all other robots. Can't trust them. <laughs> Gotta cancel her on Instagram. I don't have very many followers on Instagram. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not active on Instagram. I exist on Instagram, but I don't link to it anywhere. But like, I'm sure people could find me. My face is on Instagram. <laughs> I just don't use it much. I don't like Instagram. It gives me anxiety. I don't know why. I don't enjoy the content I see on Instagram. I don't like meta. I don't like Instagram. Wait, I think I can just use the... I also, for... I also for sure have an Instagram. I 
It's called self-loathing. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> That is itchy. My battery's gonna die in the game. Other robots want raise random candy wrappers she found on the ground. They're mine! I hoard them like a dragon. Okay, I need to get over there. Okay. I am like super mega dying. But I think I can get over there. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna try and make it to the wall outlet. I think I can. Give me this. <laughs> Don't die, Chibi. Don't die. Don't die on me. Whew. Made it. We're good. Yes. Yeah, I hoard random candy wrappers on the ground like I'm a dragon. What of it? You don't mess with a dragon's horde. Don't mess with me. <laughs> I don't know what my tracking always think I'm sticking my tongue out. My tracking is like you're going like, eh. You're going like, eh. See, it takes up like a second to register when I actually stick my tongue out. <laughs> All right. I think I know what I need to do though. Also, is this bird poop? Climb? Hi, too. <laughs> Am fellow dragon. Okay, we gotta be very careful here. Can I clean up the bird poop? <gasps> Can't. I don't know what kind of bird they had, but... Pooped all over the basement. <laughs> Everyone's favorite rooms! <clears throat> Steals all your hordes? No! This is what happens to you if you steal my horde. I put you in here. Steal my horde, you get put in there. Leave the candy wrappers alone. Or you'll regret it. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I was really proud of that one. I'm really proud of my Alistair cosplay. I need to lose weight if I want to wear it again. <laughs> no, don't put me in eye health and don't touch the horde. You understand? The deal? Horde of the Horde of Candy Wrappers? Alistair League of Legends? No! Um, Pokemon. Alistair the Ghost Pokemon of Sword and Shield. I made the entire costume myself. Um, I work- I started work on it before the game even released. Um, but needed to wait till the game came out for final details, like... Um, what the back of his uniform looked like. Cause they didn't show that before the game came out. push these. What? Push. Uh, eh. oh. okay, where am I going? Giga Shard is right below me. Yes! Okay. Got me thinking of Ale Alistair from Has Been Hotel Fair. The Giga Charger! Yar, that be it, says I! Do you truly mean to set Giga Robo to sailing once more? Ah, Chibi. You're such a. I got one thing for you to remember. 
Drink water. Don't use the outlets in the house when you feel in, when you fill her up. You'll be drawing so much power that poor Sanderson'll go bankrupt. Causing the family hardship wouldn't sit well with Gigaro. Ain't that right? A gigantic can opener. Poor guy. Yeah, I almost forgot. Igaro will be missing a leg. And no peg leg neither. Memory serves Captain Sanderson put in, put in a queen sort of treasure chest. Sort of a sealed trunk with a handle. I've never, I've never fixed a Gigarobo. I like that emote. Oh, the hearts despawn. Okay, that's fine. Bunk. Now we can charge. I also need to fix that command. Let's see if I can fix it right now. Oh. Also, does this come in? That command work. Why? Why is Bongo not working? Did I name it wrong? Probably named it wrong. BTTV hasn't added it for like a few months. <laughs> oh, it's because I have it. It's capital R. It should be lowercase R. There we go. And then race park talk is lowercase r and I have it uppercase r because I'm a silly billy. I'll fix it after stream. I'll fix it. I'm going to save. Oh. Yeah, friendly reminder, if you want to use my emotes and aren't subscribed, do not feel pressured to subscribe. Um, you can access all of my emotes through BTTV. Yoink. Now we need to go to the kitchen. Play with the kitchen ladder. And go up the stairs very slowly. Yeah, I should maybe use my Instagram more. I just don't know what to post on Instagram. Like, it feels so difficult to figure out what kind of posts do well on what platforms. And I could not figure out Instagram. <laughs> Not for the life of me. It was too complicated. <laughs> I'll ever post my pet photos on there. I would do that if I had a pet. I tried to get a pet once. My ADHD and anxiety and autism said no. Was absolutely not allowed. I cried a bunch, and then cried about having to give them back. But the shelter was like, no, you did good, you did good. And then we're like, we're glad that you, you basically get like fossed with them for a bit. And I was like, okay, I'm sorry. I just knew I wouldn't be able to take good care of it and I would be happier with someone else because I was too anxious about everything. <laughs> you visit sometimes. Yeah, just get Chibi is right-handed, good for him. That's like having a pet. I don't think you visiting sometimes is like having a pet. It would be like borrowing a pet from somewhere else, from Canada. <laughs> but not being my pet. I've always had cats my whole life and they kind of do their own thing. I got a cat, but it was a really separation anxiety cat. And like freaked out if I wasn't sitting next to it all the time. And I was like, I can't do this. I'm too anxious for this. I'm 20 senior, I got my first dog and then he changed my life. I want a dog. I got a yard now, but I'm still too scared to get a pet. But the nice thing about do like dogs so because, because, you know, you can put them in the backyard and they won't, like, jump over the fence, probably. Um, 
and destroy the ecosystem. You can kind of like take it if you're like, I need a break from you um, for a minute. You can just sit, let them run around outside. I was scared too at first. It's scary. Pets are scary. <laughs> I want to be a good pet mom. Parent. Whatever. I'm that alleyway raccoon you've accidentally- oop! Pack bonded with. Where's my ladder? You have my ladder, ma'am? Spill otter everywhere. Very fortunate he's a really good boy, so gentle and careful. That's good. One of my parents' dogs is just like the sweetest little guy. And I, and, and I really love him and he's getting old and it's like, I don't want you to get old. I want you to stay young forever and like never leave. Hi. There's my, there's my ladder. I can charge too. Why do pets have to age? They're so perfect. You've had toads, crawdads, dogs, squid, tigerfish, eels, snakes, and pelican. <sighs> That's amazing. I've considered getting fish. Watch them. Ow! Apparently no fish for me. It's always sad when pets get old and you stay with us forever. Exactly. Thanks for telling me that I've been assaulted two times. Depends on what fish you get. Oop! I fell down. No baby pelican. You ain't come, baby. I don't think I've ever seen a picture of a baby, ba baby pelican. Give me the spoon. The spoon is mine. That's my plug. I need the spoon. Yes. Spoon! Hey, that's a kid spoon! Behold, it looks like a shovel! I can plant now! They're a very gum gun like an alien. New kitchen gun! Bob would like new! Yeah, adult pelicans eat everything. Yeah, I just always feel bad because I'm just the type of person that doesn't like move much or is very active. So I'm like, my dog wouldn't get enough exercise, but also my cat wouldn't get enough exercise. <laughs> ah! No, I missed the money. Let me back in. the toll twice for this tiny bit of money. How do I... How do I see? Let me down. Let me down. I can't see! Okay, there we go. And TBH is more lazy than I am! The dream. Yeah, same. I got my dog to help me encourage to go inside. How's our, how's our little favorite robot doing? Well, thank you. I'm doing all right. Work's been kind of rough this past week or so, but I'm hanging in there playing some robot game to just relax and hang out. And it's been good. Dig a hole. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. Dee 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 dee. <laughs> I'm a chibi robot, but you're also my favorite. <laughs> I thought you meant me, because I'm self-centered. Oh, he's doing good. He's doing good. <laughs> he hasn't died, so that's good. <laughs> if you undig my hole, that would be rude. That would not be kind. That's a rat. I fell down. Oh. I'm the rat. Let me out. 
Where does this go? Ow! Where does this go? Nope, 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 nope. Okay. What is the point of down here? I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna stand still. Never mind. Oh! My battery! My battery. I'm the fork in the garbage disposal. <laughs> Have a have a dilemma. Do I be kind or evil? No! Kind! I still don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to the charging station. <gasps> I can just stand here! I'm T posing in real life. Charger. He's so nicey to them. <laughs> My chippy ranking has gone from 90 to 46. We're in the top 50. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's pull and push objects. Thanks. Oh. I got the Giga Charger. It's already bigger than me. Set it over there. Mwah. Bink. <laughs> oh. Big vibrations on the controller. You know what that means? You can finally recharge the Giga battery. But how? How do I do that? I do not know. Also, one bot's like staring at the sky. <laughs> oh, I think you can probably charge it if you're willing to shell out the moolah. Okay. Bigger doesn't have enough any energy stored up at all. I think it's gonna take a whole lot of juice to charge up the Giggery bat. Get a battery, Chibi Robo. Can't charge it from out in the house would break the family's bank. <laughs> yes. A thousand kilowatts equals a thousand moolah. A thousand. <laughs> we'll do a thousand. Yeah. Ow, my money. Oh, that was barely anything. <laughs> Oof. A thousand. And yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need some money. It looks like it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more money. Nine more of those. So nine thousand moolah left. Oof. <laughs> Oof is right. Alright. There's just something about GameCube music. I feel like games on the GameCube are just like, let's just have chill jams. Good jams. Just the year for, for some good jams. Oh, I can't spend money on flowers now. Um, I'm gonna buy a few ah, flowers. Oh, five feet's to game and cube too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. One mod apparently sees something on the ceiling. He's not telling me about it. What do you see? Hmm? What are you looking at? Oh, that's right. He watches my mouse. I forgot. <laughs> He's been watching my mouse this whole time. He's looking at you now, chat. Or at least attempting to. One bot is talking to God. He's like, 
hope <laughs> It's me, I'm on the ceiling. No! Bon Bon, protect me. <laughs> Your mousey is on the ceiling? It got up there. It's not supposed to. I did. Buy some more pink seeds. There. Can I buy anything? Give me, give me this. I would love that. Please. I think that warps me upstairs, which is so nicey. Blech. Blech. Nom 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 nom. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta be careful. My TMJ does not like that. But I don't want to get jaw surgery <laughs> to fix it right now, because that's expensive and painful. I don't want to do it. Okay. Um, where do we want to go? Hmm. Let's go outside. I haven't been outside in a second. I know I need, I need the little water thingy that I don't have. I don't know if it's outside. But I do know I need it. It's vitally important. But I also have the diggy thing now, so I can plant flowers. Quiet in the backyard, and there's a dead frog. But also there's a thing buried in the yard that I want to dig up. Yeah, we can dig up now. Spoon! Just ignore the dead frog, okay? Don't worry about him. <gasps> Keep digging. Is this the captain's ship? He asked us to find it last time. Oh, the, the music. Now I can't dig anymore. <laughs> Uh, what do I do now? Shoot it? Nope. <laughs> uh, you're being mugged. Dang, that didn't work. <laughs> I can't ignore the frog. Shh, 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 it's fine. I know that worked. <laughs> I'm glad you liked my <laughs> my silly joke. Yeah, there's a frog over there. <laughs> but he's- he's fine. Like how your second response was to shoot it. Look, sometimes you just gotta shoot things. It's the way of life. I'm- I'm from Texas. That's- is that not the answer? That's what people says the answer is here. Hey. <laughs> Fries. <laughs> We're gonna plant- we're gonna plant some flowers. Pink flowers. <laughs> Violence is the answer. Frogs are sleeping. I can't water these though. Hey, Distraught, exactly. So you come from the land of gun. Yeah, I do. I do indeed come from the land of gun. It's funny because like anytime I have to do like a southern accent for something, um, I'll do it, and it's like, you know, decent, and then, and then I can't talk normal for a bit. <laughs> Chibi Robo after committing murder. All right, back to cleaning. <laughs> Chibi, <gasps> okay. For those of you who've seen Spy Family, Chibi Robo is like your because he's good at cleaning and killing. <laughs> Music got so intense there for a sec is because there were bad guys. It's fine, I'm also from the south. Yeah. Frogs are good fertilizer? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Also, I don't know if I said it earlier. Uh, welcome in, Sigmores. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for hanging. Wonk. Wonk. He also has a daughter that can read minds. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 
there's secrets back here. Look, guys, secrets. Can I charge in the secret port? I want to charge in the secret place. Yes! No. Secrets. <laughs> when you get a critical hit on the ocean. Like you do. Trash time! Speaking of, I need to go get my trash can. It was trash day today. <laughs> it's still outside. I'll need to pull it in after stream. If I don't get in trouble. I also need to mow my lawn. But I don't have a mower yet. It's on- I ordered one, but it has not arrived. <laughs> Alright. Go in for and chat. try our new teleporter! Teleporter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, my, my tracking is always just like you're going better. Stop talking about the secret thing. It's a secret thing. <gasps> for for reasons of utmost security, my name is Change Daily. You may call today. You may call me uh, Fluffy Wuffykins. You got that glitch because if that was what you were referencing, you're amazing. <laughs> Incredible. Wonderful. I loved that show. <laughs> My entire heart. Biff Broadwell. He has so many names. Secret show was great. It was so good. So good. One of my favorite cartoons. <laughs> What is the secret thing? It's the secret thing! That's, that's the only answer. I used to sing the... There was like a... a for those who've never seen The Secret Show, it was just like... A, it was a British cartoon um, that they also aired in some areas of the States. Um, I think from like Nicktoons. And I really, really liked it. Um, fluffy Wuffykins! So... No! Um... But I remember that um, every time an episode started, they would um, interrupt another, quote unquote, another show um, called the Fluffy Bunny Show. And the theme song to that was Fluffy, Fluffy Bunnies bouncing through the wood. I'm supposed to keep it quiet. I'm just trying to. Hi. Oh, it's just you, Chibo. Sorry, I thought you were Jenny's father. I'm balancing our checkbook right now. I need to be alone, okay? Okay. Tee hee hee we got- Chibi Robo got yelled at. You better go to bed too, young lady! Aww. Interesting that it showed me that. Um, there we go. Fluffy, fluffy bunnies bouncing in the woods. Fluffy, fluffy bunnies bouncing as they should. They bounce, 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 bounce. And then they would always get interrupted at that part. But I made up the rest of the song. I don't know if it's true, but I made it up as they bounce, 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 bounce around and play. They bounce, 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 bouncing every day. Fluffy, fluffy bunnies bouncing through the wood. I made up that was the whole song. That's not canon. But as a child, I decided that that was what the song was. <gasps> He's sad. He's so sad. Hmm. Ever seen your show? I saw maybe three episodes. I feel like that's the normal amount that most people saw, but I I own it now on like Amazon. She called him Jenny's father, not my husband. Oof. Yeah. It was Jenny's father, not, you know, the man of the household. They are mega fighting. It's good that she didn't go to bed because now I get to run around in her room. <gasps> it's 
the water thing! Yes! We can save the frog! Guys, this is not a drill! We can save the frog! It's been years since I've... Are the parents fighting? They are fighting. Um... Why was it mad? Hang on, why was it evil? Why is it evil? It's evil! <laughs> anyway... But yeah, basically the, the father spends too much money on like toys and stuff and the, the family is like going broke because of irresponsible spending. Um, and one of the things that he irresponsibly spent on was us. Um, Chibi Robo for the daughter's birthday because he wanted the Chibi Robo. Um, but it's like super expensive. Um, so. Who here thinks fish is a vegetable? Um, but yeah, so they're fighting over that. And so that's why she's also like looking at their, their expenses and stuff. And why they're fighting. And so we're trying to sort of just be, you know, useful. Robot. Exactly. Instead of couples therapy, they got a robot. Safety is an illusion, but my shoebox under the bed makes me feel safe. Day or night. What's that? I forgot. Let me introduce myself. I'm Mort. <gasps> Mort! Drake Redcrest mentioned you! Do you know the whereabouts of the red shoe? No? Why? I'm saddened by that. I'm sorry! Will you listen to my story? Yes. What's your story, sir? I'm a it's about the other night. Oh, like mortician! The teddy bear is angry. Evil teddy bear! Oh no, stop! Stop, you'll break it! That's where the shoe is. That's what transpired. Uh, the lovely Princess Pitts hasn't left her castle since then. Her bare foot causes her terrible embarrassment, I'm sure. I'm very worried. I'm very worried about her. If you find the red shoe, please let me know. Oh. That's like wrong again. I've done it wrong every time. Alright, so the red shoes. This world works on Toys R Logic? It does, yes. Um, the toys are awake when people aren't around. They're technically awake, you know, like all the time, like Toy Story Logic. But. But yes. It does. But Chibi Robot is like actually a robot, he's not a toy that's like alive. I don't know. All the characters are so good and cute. I love them. Evil there. I wonder if I can, if I line these up, if it does something. We're gonna try. Okay. Okay, we pull this one this way. I'm trying so hard to be like, Precise. Hi, Drake. Okay. Ah! Why did that go up there? I will give you another wave in a second once I figure out why that went up there. Why did you disconnect again? Stop. You've been so buggy lately. What's with that? Here's your wave. I'll just do this. Um, uh, hide it. No, I would. I will use this. <laughs> there. <laughs> Don't know why that was like that. Punk. 
Yeah, for some reason, the throwing program's been super buggy lately. I don't know if that's a thing for everyone else, but it has been for me. Perfect. Okay, then we get you. And we pull you this way. Oh. We push you the rest of the way. Bonk. And we grab you. And we pull you up. This probably doesn't matter, but it makes me happy, so that's that's all that matters really. I grab the flower. It just can be pretty buggy. I wasn't sure if it was just for me, because it used to be super good. Um, but they've been writing a lot, a bunch of updates. <gasps> <gasps> I got happy points! <laughs> I did it! Um, yeah, it's been really buggy recently. Dawson curses! I can't get to that castle! Perhaps the key to true justice is knowing when to surrender. Bah! What am I doing here anyway? <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you recall, please tell me, Space Hunter Robo! I'm at loss, but the destiny of a Space Hunter is to find the truth! Okay, remember you can use this phone. So let's try talking to somebody on the phone. Can I shoot? <laughs> can I shoot the phone off? I can! I can shoot the phone off! <laughs> Hello, this is Princess Pitts. I live on top of a big castle. The castle guards are a little, um, wooden in the personality department, so I'm a bit bored. I love chatting, though. Would you like to chat with me? Uh-huh. Oh, wonderful. Princess Pitts just gave you 20 happy points. Spread the happiness. They have like Banjo Kazooie esque, like talking, like, abu babu yabu yabu. I like it. Let me tell you about this dream I keep having. Okay, so this prince on like a white horse comes over and takes me away. And the horse is super cute. Then the prince gives me a flower. Yep, the flower is like. The prettiest thing ever! And then he says to me, You're much prettier. <laughs> it's all I can do not to scream with delight! And then we fall in love! And then Jenny devised me a new dress, a blue one, not navy, but more like of a sky blue to match my eyes. And then we totally run away together. And then, after I've established my interior decorating business, we have two kids. A cute boy and girl, of course. And then, and then, <laughs> she just needed to, she just needed to talk. The long phone conversation continue <laughs> into the day. <laughs> the whole rest of the day we talk on the phone. <laughs> Time skip. All right, so if you want to end a day early, you talk to her. I guess. <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> 22! I get the next bonus bounty, I mean 58 happy points! We're so close! So close! Let's go! Oh, you're here, do you want to save? We'll go to, like, the half hour mark. As I need to take a bath and I'm stinky and I'm eepy and I need to rest. Yeah. I need to get 777 moolah to make the nectar flower, I think. But now we can go save the frog! Let's go save that frog. Hi, dog. Is that you? Is that the dog or was that just me seeing things? Yeah, that was just me seeing things. I can entirely imagine that the dog was there. Give me this. We're gonna go save that frog. That frog is getting saved. Mark my words. He's thirsty and dying, but we will fix that. Okay. There he is, dead. 
on the ground. But that's, that's fine. Because soon he won't be dead on the ground. Can I, can I dig these flowers up? No. Also, my spoon is evil too! It was evil! Why was my spoon evil? I don't understand why this bear is so evil. Oh, he's no longer evil. Now he's like, yeah. Maybe he's still evil, but now he's like, yeah. <laughs> Look at him, he's deranged. Deranged bear. Be alive! Ribbit. Frida? Frida the frog? Be alive! <gasps> Less dead? Be alive! <laughs> There's so many weird, creepy things in this game. It's the dehydrated version of Hangry. Spread the happiness. <laughs> Nice work. Way to go, Chibi Robo. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. The frog seems to be saying something. I don't understand, though. This strange language. Get up! <gasps> frog costume! I am frog. Thank you, get up. I'm fine now, thanks to you. My boyfriend's lost in that house. I'm tired of waiting around, Gettle. Now that you're one of us, you can speak ribbities too. Cool, huh? Isn't it the greatest, Gettle? Now that we can communicate, I have to ask you a favor. Can you please find my lost boyfriend, Gettle? He's probably collapsed somewhere. All alone without a fly to eat, Gettle. If you find him, I want you to bring him here. It is such a cute outfit. Also, the daughter speaks mostly in ribbits. And I think now she will talk normally if we're wearing this outfit. <laughs> I'm counting on you, get up. Implying that she's like actually speaking frog. <gasps> He's gone. Or she's gone. Oh my god, a little tummy! A little tummy X! Also, we can water our flowers that we planted. <laughs> Squirter. Deranged bear. Eh. I watered them. <laughs> the daughter being so autistic coded hits different as an adult, right? Love the daughter. So we love and support Jenny in this house. Her special interest is frogs and she's valid for it. She's valid. <laughs> My special interest was, is, was, is Pokemon. <laughs> And video games. Pokemon and I had a really big Zelda special interest time. I still love Zelda, but it's not to the extent that it was when it was my special interest. Hey, look, 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 Jenny! I'm gonna do a little hop for you. Boing. Get up. Oh! Did the evil frog wizard put a curse on you too, Chibi Robo? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what I thought. Just like me. <laughs> well, it looks very good on you. <laughs> I love her. I love her so much. I can only speak to other frogs. How do you do, get up? I mean, get up. <laughs> Love her. Dog. Love being a little frog. Bonk. Drinking my water. Oh. Coded? Yeah, so basically what that means is that, like, a character can be, like, gay coded or, like, any kind of thing coded. Which basically means that, like, they aren't explicitly written as a character, but the traits that the character possesses... I got pie panned again. 
the, the traits that a character possesses come across as very much, you know, X. So for someone being autistic coded, it means a lot of the traits that they possess are autistic, but they aren't necessarily like canonically referred to as autistic, if that makes sense. Um, but they present very autistically. Um, that's what I mean. It's basically like the equivalent of when someone says something is gay coded, they're saying it comes across as being portrayed in a way that impl basically implies that the character is gay, even if they aren't canonically like explicitly confirmed to be <laughs> I'm autistic coded. Me too. Robots are inherently autistic coded, apparently. <laughs> it's funny, one of my friends um, from school and I both became VTubers completely separately of each other and later like reconnected and we're like, oh, we're both VTubers and we're both robot VTubers and we both think that we're autistic? Huh. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny how things work that way. I want to say that because I said that I went to school with them and I don't- I don't want- I don't know how comfy they are with that being like a public thing, though. So. I won't talk about it more. Sam so definitely has to stick in gay coded here, Lamal. I'm gay and ace coded. <laughs> or I'm autistic and ace coded. I'm arrow coded as well. Lots of coding. I'm also programmer coded. <laughs> I'm coded, coded. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can, what we can do with the day upstairs. I don't remember what you can do with the day upstairs. I was itching my eye, I'm sorry. Candy coded. <laughs> Another example would be non-human characters written similar to how humans um, of a particular if ethnicity the unfortunate happenstance of some crows being overtly black coated, yeah. That's a good example too. It's not a positive thing, but it definitely happens. Good examples, good examples. Can't be coded. <laughs> I like that. <gasps> okay, the parents' room is open during the day, so I go in the parents' room. Oh, Song of the South, yeah. Yup, yup. It's so weird going back and watching old media. Waiting for that Disney remake. Oh no, no thank you. No thank you. <gasps> I plugged in the other room. Hex. I love the trivia room music. What's up there? Hat. Oh, it looks like you can use that to climb up. Okay, I will. I don't know what I gain from this, but I assume I drop that hat down and I can give the hat to the dad. The dad probably wants this hat. I love how silly he looks in the frog outfit. Time. Okay, let's examine this room. That's a lot of doors! <laughs> There's a lot going on. There's a ticket stub. There's so much going on in this room. <laughs> okay, I can't make it anywhere from here. Cool. Frog, the frog, the frog, the frog. It's him. There he is. The frog we're supposed to save, huh? He's like dying. What's that? Let's go and have a closer look. You got like teeth marks. It looks like a frog, but. Oh, horrible! Who could have done such a thing? You don't- you think it could have been Tao? Probably. What? Hey, come on! I'm just kidding! Then who could have- Huh? Huh? 
I have a scared. I have a scared somewhere. That'll work. Um, 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 um. Maybe Robo, something's over there. There we go. Just ignore Bunbot. Just, just ignore Bunbot. Bunbot can be in love. Bunbot's in love with the dinosaur. There really was something over there. I'm gonna get a look. Careful! Bunbot spooked. We stand, Bunbot loving dinosaur. Still here? Rita! 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 Give one of them dang frogs. What do you expect? My eyes are gone, and you was dressed all in green. Now get off my line! Guess it was fate that brought us together. Stop by if you need anything, you hear? Bye now! Can you not eat the frogs? I kind of need the frogs. Are you okay? Are you good? Hi. What happened? I've got to get back to Frida on the double. Get Will you take me? Yeah. I can bring you. Get in my brain. Get in my brain hole. Hop in. Boop. <laughs> Passed out frog. <laughs> Alright, let's get this frog home. <laughs> but also, we gotta pick up the moolah. Eh. Oh. <laughs> Give me this. And then, get up this. Bing, 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 bing. Candy wrapper spotted. Added to the hoard. I want to get a good record player. I got distracted. I want to get a good record player and some good speakers. Which reminds me, um, I bought, I mentioned to some of y'all that I bought, um, I bought a, a special edition record from Japan. 
because I was feeling really sad. <laughs> and it came. Um, my really bad record player, I have a really cheap record player. Can't play it good. Um, but it's a record of all of the KK songs. So it, it plays KK music. So all of the like songs that play in the house. So the first song on the record is de is is Bubblegum KK. So you put so I put on Bubblegum KK and and on the on the record and it, and it goes It makes me real happy. It makes me real happy. It's so perfect. Yeah. Um my really crappy record player is actually like one of the ones that they have in the game where it's like the briefcase record player. But it, mine doesn't support the record enough, and so the the plate itself is like not level, and so it makes the record skip. Um, most of my records it's fine because they don't have as many songs on a single record on a single side of a record, but the KK one has songs with like such close together parts that when the record is wobbly, like even a little bit wobbly, it starts to skip um, the songs. But my my partner tried it on their nicer record player and it worked great. So I just need to get a nicer record player, which I wanted to do anyway. Um, but I also got the Cult of the Lamb soundtrack, which is really exciting. I was very excited for that, as well as the Cult of the Lamb plushie, which I posted on Twitter. It's really cute! But I really love the KK one, and I can't wait to have a good enough record player to play it. But I'm also gonna have to buy nice speakers, and so now it's just getting expensive. Um, but I'm really excited for when I can, like, actually sit down and do that. I've had to spend so much money on random stuff recently. I also apparently um, I had to pay money for taxes the other day so that wasn't great so I apparently um, signed up for the wrong thing early on and then it made me have bad taxes so not great <laughs> and then I had a thing that I forgot to um, unsubscribe from and it, and it was like a yearly thing so it charged me a bunch of money and it's too late to get that back so I'm gonna have to just remember to cancel it. The joys of ADHD. <laughs> You're like, I really need to do a thing. And then two seconds later, you forget. The joys. Hello, sir. How are you doing? How you doing? Me when I get up in the morning. Did you find the red shoe? No. Okay. I'm sorry. Gotta go for the night, but have fun. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Have a wonderful evening and take care. See you again soon, hopefully. Take care of yourself. We won't be going too terribly much longer. Probably just till the end of this in-game day. But yeah, take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really excited to play that record properly and get a proper record player. Why are these all bumped up? Something happened there. Don't know what though. <laughs> I'm gonna get away this. If I don't die. Red box! I don't I, I wanna know what the red box is. <laughs> ah! Danger! Get off! Get off! We have a we have a passenger on board. Leave him alone. Get in here. Die. Victory. All right, let's get this frog home. Don't worry, frog. We'll get you to your girlfriend. Oh, there's a charging port right there. 
All right, so we're gonna go, we're gonna charge. And we're gonna get back into the backyard and return the frog lovers. And then I'm gonna sign off and go play Style Savvy on the 3DS. That's all the time we've got. I need to get back to playing Animal Crossing on my Nintendo 3DS. I miss Reggie. I like Reggie. <laughs> I miss him. My body is not Reggie. And neither is Duck Bowser. How are people feeling about like... There's like two, I feel like, big movies on the horizon for like nerds. How are people feeling about A, the Mario movie, B, the D&D &D movie? How are people feeling about those? I'm cautiously optimistic for the Mario movie and pessimistic for the D&D &D movie. <laughs> because I feel like the part of D&D &D that's cool is not the world or, you know, pre-existing characters or corporately written characters. It's the goofiness. They're gonna have to not take the game seriously in order or not take the movie seriously in order for it to be good. If it's like a silly haha -ha, fun time, cool. If it's not, I don't know if it'll be good. <laughs> I actually really want to see the Mario movie and I think it might be fun if nothing else. Yeah, that's my opinion of the Mario movie as well. I really want to see it. Because I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be cool. If anything to see, to see Jack Black's Bowser, honestly. <laughs> How long is that boyfriend of mine gonna keep me waiting, honestly? I think the idea of the D&D movie is very hard to execute, agreed. Here you go. I had to dig him out from between my trash. Oh! The D&D &D movie I'm going to see. It's soon with my spouse. He's a big fan of D&D &D and he's looking forward to it a lot. That's good. I'm glad some people are. I like D&D &D a lot. I'm not looking forward to it. Just because I feel like D&D &D by nature is like an interactive medium. <laughs> And it's hard to execute an interactive medium in a movie when the characters, story, or world aren't what are interesting about it. And what is interesting about D&D, at least to me, is the interactivity and not just a pre-existing story. Or seeing, like, people go crazy and chaotic with it. Because, like, I enjoy watching some people play D&D when they're, like, really goofy and silly and, like, really have fun with it and i just don't know if a corporate movie would do that but I'll, i'm i'm fine to be proven wrong <laughs> i've heard that it's going to be a marvel style action comedy but at least that means it'll be it'll fit your idea of haha -ha funny i guess what i mean by like it being funny is not like it making jokes so much as it not taking itself seriously and the antics themselves being what's funny because that's what i think is funny in dnd the straightest and most sanitized tiefling, yeah. Also, a frog is dying. That hurts she didn't listen to me as usual. Don't talk so loudly. My head still hurts. Unk. I don't really know much about D&D TVH. Mostly going as company. That's totally fair. Totally fine. I think I think that at best it's gonna be like a goofy movie that doesn't take itself too seriously. That'll be a fun watch, which is my best option for it. At worst, it'll just kind of be like a generic fantasy movie. <laughs> I don't know what you don't know what pain is, my friend, but you're going to find out pretty soon. What? Because maybe I was better off as a Dane does a dinosaur snack. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm sorry if we caused any trouble. See you later! D&D movie ends mid-plot and post credit scene is the audience is having to schedule <laughs> they go see the sequel. That's funny. See, like, if they did stuff like that, great. <laughs> I would, I would be down. Yeah, help me! Not only the human parents are getting divorced. But yeah, I... I went to see the new Avatar movie recently and it went so long. But it looks so pretty with the water things. I didn't end up seeing the new Avatar movie because I wasn't super into the old Avatar movie. Like, I know it's really pretty, but like, I don't care. <laughs> but ADHD me may be to blame for that because... Paying attention to a movie is already really difficult for me. 
And so if a movie, if the whole point of the movie is just to sit there and it be boring but pretty, it's like, no, no. <laughs> My partner went to see it, I'm like, please, I can't go with you. <laughs> I can't. Frog divorce, yeah. <laughs> Going through the, the chibi robo iceberg, frog divorce. Yeah, I'm the same, I don't really care for it. I just want to look at the pretty, but yeah, I felt like it was too long. I think one of the- I, it's very rare that a movie for me doesn't end up, like, start to lose my attention. I think it's only happened a couple times that, like, a movie didn't lose my attention. Um, and one of those times was Knives Out, and another one of those times was Everything Everywhere All At Once. So if you want a recommendation, uh, for movies, Knives Out is a good PG-13 option if you like detective stories and whodunits. Or silly goofy movies that- <laughs> cause it's both of those. And Everything Everywhere All at Once is a goofy action movie, um, but also definitely rated for adults. So only see that if you are an adult. <laughs> Episode top five game ever and top five most unique ideas? I don't know what you mean by unique ideas, but top five games for me? Hmm. I'd probably have to say, for me personally, that would probably end up coming very much into nostalgia and things that are personally important to me. Um, so for me, um, Persona 5 is up there, um, I really like the Pokemon franchise, I really like, um, I just really like, um, the Zelda games, I really like Wind Waker and Minish Cap, particularly, I also really like, I like Chibi Robo, obviously, um, the top five games. Persona 5 for sure. And then after that, I don't know. <laughs> when we get to top five, I mean, true of being in top five of both. <laughs> or as you control, have exalted. But. Minish Cap, one of my favorite Zelda games. I really meet someone else who says they like it. It's a good game! It's such a good game. I want to play it again. <laughs> Um, I was glad to see it in the list of games. Oh, I know. Can't not mention Ace Attorney in my top five, um, like, game franchises. I don't know if I would pick uh, Chronicles over the original trilogy, because while I love Chronicles more, I think the original trilogy is probably just a better overall experience if you're new to Ace Attorney, but they're both top tier. Um, which is my favorite game I've ever borrowed. Um... I also really love... In terms of unique ideas, I feel like you can't go into gaming unique ideas and not mention Portal. Um, so, Portal. <laughs> um, hmm. I also really love... I just, I... <laughs> Ace Attorney isn't a game to me, but a dear friend. Honestly, yeah, kind of same. <laughs> it's just like, it's, it's so near and dear to me. I've so many been playing Ace Attorney on my 3DS for many hours at night under the cover, under my covers in bed. I played it originally on the Wii, which is, I don't know if that's a flex or just makes me old. Um, I played it on the Wii in high school and, oh, you just like can't move. Um, I played it on the Wii in high school and it was really fun and I really liked it and I had no one I knew that also played it. Um. So it was very interesting, like, hyper fixating on something that no one else knew existed. <laughs> but unique idea is hard. I feel like, obviously, Portal, um, I feel like a lot of the stuff on the Wii U was really cool. Um, I feel like Nintendo Land had a lot of really cool ideas. The Wii's baby, I love mine. It has my J Mario RPG on it, nice. Um... Yeah, I've seen a lot of really cool, unique idea games, but it's always hard to sort of, like, retroactively think of something that was really unique, because a lot of things that end up being really unique either don't get an audience, or get an audience and then everyone copies them, and then trying to think back on what was unique is harder, because all you know is when it was, like, really popular. <laughs> Nobody in my friend circle knew of Ace Attorney either, only met others who enjoy it when I went online. Yeah, it wasn't- it wasn't until like, college that I met anyone else that enjoyed Ace Attorney. I got into Ace Attorney, like, years before college. Um... Layton is also a good game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll also throw Ghost Trick in there. Love Ghost Trick. That might be a stream game for, like, around Halloween. But Ghost Trick is 
phenomenal. If you like the Ace Attorney, the writing in Ace Attorney, please check out Ghost Trick when it's released on the Switch and on Steam later this year. This is my, this is my endorsement. I would say that Ghost Trick is unique, but I, I don't know if I would say it's unique mechanically. I don't know. It's it's a very it's a very unique game. There's like there's like not anything I could really add to it. Um, but for those of you who don't know, Ghost Trick is written by the same guy that wrote Ace Attorney, the original Ace Attorney trilogy and the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. So if you like Ace Attorney and its general vibes, Ghost Trick has the same vibes. So highly recommend. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just, I like lots of games. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gamer, <laughs> you could say. Um, but yeah, um, I like lots of games. Thistle is a silly goose, he is a silly goose. I'm top 10! Yes! We're in the end game now. My battery's gone up to 180! Oh, hog. I forgot I subscribed you to, <laughs> to extra credits. Matt Pog. But I think. I think. That'll be it for me. I'm gonna go play Style Savvy. <laughs> on the three, on my feet, on my Nintendo. That's all the time we've got. <laughs> I've got to get back to playing Style Savvy on in the, my Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> but I appreciate all of you. I'm gonna buy some, some stuff real quick before I stop the game. Yeah, I'd say I'd say if I have to pick top five, I'd probably go Persona 5, the Ace Attorney franchise. Um, would be like my top two, because they like have defined my entire personality. I'd probably go for the Wind Waker specifically because it got me into gaming on consoles. And I'd probably go for Pokemon Yellow because it got me into gaming end of sentence and became like <laughs> one of my special interests to this day. Um, I wouldn't say it's a great game to revisit nowadays, but I love it with all my heart as one of my first ever games. And then for a number five, I'm literally looking, I'm looking at my bookcase that has all my stuff on it. And it's just like, it's got a Miku, it's got Persona 5, it's got Pokemon, and like, that's it. <laughs> In decorations. I probably put Chibi Robo on there. Chibi Robo is just really special to me. I didn't get to play it much as a kid, but I love it so much. No, I think I'm gonna put Kingdom Hearts at number five. Specifically Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. <laughs> because I have a problem. <laughs> but Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Number five. <laughs> but with that. <laughs> but with that, autism, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the true answer. Autism. We're gonna pause, pause the game. Hot pause. Play some music. Oh, I'm small. There we go. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out today. It was really fun. It's what I needed. Work's been tough. So this was nice. Um... But stick around, I'm gonna send you guys on a little raid adventure. And Bombot's gonna look around while I'm I'm looking for a friend to raid. What's Andu doing? What's Lua doing? What are people doing? What is Andu doing? Oh, Andu's doing cringy corner! Let's raid Andu. Hi, XO! Thank you, thank you! I hope you do you do slash did as well. And it was nice to meet you too, Nami! Thank you again for the, the commission application. I'm excited to look through all my applications. They've all been very fun so far. Um, you know, I think we're gonna... I'm gonna see what, what they're drawing. Um... Hope 
But we're going to raid Andu, who's doing Cringy Corner. Andu. And the raid phrase is going to be... Ew, cringe heart. Um, so you can use any heart emote you have. I'm going to use mine. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah, everyone have a great week. Um, I might see you again on Saturday. We'll see how I'm feeling. Oh no! I'm so sorry, your ice cream melted! Um. But I, I hope that it, it, you can refreeze it or something and that it's still tasty. I'm sorry. <laughs> but regardless, I'm going to, we're going to do you cringe with either um, um, my emote or a normal heart emote or any other heart emote you have that you want to use. Um, but regardless, I hope you guys take care of yourselves. We might, I might see you on Saturday for some funny April Fool's nonsense if I'm feeling up to it. Um, but regardless, take care of yourselves and I'll see you again next week, probably for Pokemon. Uh, but we'll see how I'm feeling. Does Ray be tired? Ray be eepy. Oh. Uh. <laughs> fun bot, fun bot. I made him soup. Yes, everyone have a wonderful evening. Go say hi to Andu.